Hello, this is Jonathan with Robotis, and today I'll be going over the Dynamixel Actuator Control features of the Dynamixel to Arduino Programming Library. The Dynamixel to Arduino Library is a programming library developed by Robotis for control of Dynamixel actuators with Arduino-based microcontrollers. This library features many commands designed to interface with and control Dynamixel smart servos. Getting started with this extensive library can be daunting for new users. So this video will go over the majority of the functions featured in the Dynamixel to Arduino library and explain what they do and how to use them. I'll be using an OpenRB150 controller and an XL330 servo for today's example, as well as an Arduino sketch I created including all the library features that I'll be going over today. If you'd like to follow along with this video, you can feel free to use any Arduino compatible Dynamixel controller and any Dynamixel actuator. The example sketch is also available at the GitHub link in the video description. With that out of the way, let's start off by running the example sketch and see what it looks like before we get into the explanation. Now that we've seen what the sketch does, let's jump right into the explanation. Let's run the sketch again, and as it goes along, I'll explain what each Dynamixel to Arduino function is doing. The first Dynamixel to Arduino function used in the sketch are for fetching data about the actuator and the configuration state of the serial interface. The getPortBog function simply returns the configured baud rate of the open Dynamixel connection. In most circumstances, the baud rate will be configured elsewhere in the sketch itself and the function will not be necessary. But advanced users may need to use this function to query the active baud rate in situations where communication speed may not be known. The getModelNumber function returns the internal value each Dynamixel has corresponding to its model number. This can be a useful way to programmatically determine the specific model of connected Dynamixel. The next few functions are different ways to verify the connection states of Dynamixel actuators. The ping function sends a packet to the specified Dynamixel ID in order to confirm whether or not it's connected to the Dynamixel network. If the Dynamixel in question is found, it'll return true, otherwise it'll return false. The scan function is similar to ping in that it's intended to confirm the network connectivity of attached Dynamixels. However, instead of looking for a specific Dynamixel ID, the ping command will return true of any Dynamixel connected to the network at all, regardless of their configured ID number. Conversely, it'll only ever return false if there are no Dynamixels reachable on the network. The following setID command is used to change the configured ID of the specified Dynamixel actuator. In this case, we'll be changing Dynamixel ID 1 to 2. After this slide, there's a quick demonstration of the difference between the ping and scan functions. As you can see, with the Dynamixel ID changed to 2, the ping function now returns that the specified Dynamixel is not found while the scan function still returns successfully. Before continuing with the rest of the example program, let's set the Dynamixel ID back to 1 and use the LED on function to turn the indicator light to confirm that the ID has been reset successfully. Now, we can use the torque off function to confirm that the power in our Dynamixel motor is disabled. The torque off and torque on functions are the Dynamixel to Arduino's library method of enabling and disabling movement of our servos. In this case, we need to confirm that the torque is off before we attempt to modify a value stored in our Dynamixel's protected memory. In order to change this value, we'll use the set operating mode function, which is used to change between the various operating modes supported by Dynamixel actuators. This time, we'll be setting it to position mode for another demonstration. The get present position command returns the current position of the Dynamixel's output horn as reported by the internal positional encoder. And the set goal position command lets us tell our Dynamixels where we want it to go. But why isn't our Dynamixel moving to the new goal position? The torque is still turned off. Let's turn the torque on and try setting another new goal position. Now the Dynamixel moves to the goal position that we specified. When working with Dynamixels, it's important to keep track of the state of your actuator's torque to make sure it's enabled when you need movement 
and disabled when you need to modify important settings, or for safety reasons. In fact, we need to disable the torque again in order to set the operating mode to velocity mode for the next set of examples. Each operating mode has a pair of corresponding set and get commands for the value used to control motion in that operating mode. For the remainder of this video, I'll keep changing operating modes so you get a chance to see each set of commands in use. Here, we use the set goal velocity command to get our actuator moving again. So far, all the values we've been using to set our goals and to read them back have been in raw Dynamixel units. These units are the way that Dynamixels internally keep track of control table values. But the Dynamixel to Arduino library also gives us the option of specifying alternative units. For the next get present velocity command, we can specify that we want the present rotational velocity given to us as a percentage of the maximum output speed. Different Dynamixel to Arduino commands accept different types of specified values. Be sure to consult the Dynamixel to Arduino documentation to see what functions support which value types. For the next example, let's set our Dynamixel to current control mode. As you can see, not only can we use get commands to read values in the specified unit types, but we can also use set commands to write them in those unit types as well. We can even mix and match different unit types however we want, as we do in this current control mode example. Our next example requires us to set our Dynamixel to PWM mode to demonstrate another aspect of Dynamixel movement. First, we set a positive PWM goal value and our actuator continues to spin clockwise as it has before. But when supplied with a negative value, the direction of movement reverses. Dynamics will support both positive and negative control and velocity values, with positive values corresponding to clockwise movements and negative values corresponding to counterclockwise. This provides a simple and intuitive way for us to specify the movement direction of our actuator. As we near the end of the program, I want to go over one more set of important functions in the Dynamixel to Arduino library. Read and write control table item. Most more advanced Dynamixel configuration settings don't have simple set or get functions to access them. So these two functions allow us to access and modify any control table item on our Dynamixel. Although these functions allow access to any control table item, they don't support the specification of alternative units. All values written or read with these functions must be in standard Dynamics units. Additionally, these functions can't verify if the control table item that you're writing to accepts certain types of values or not. For this reason, it's important to ensure that you're sending compatible values when using these functions. That's it for the full breakdown of the most important features of the Dynamixel to Arduino library. For more information and full documentation on this library, be sure to check out the official Robotis e-manual. The example sketch for this project is available on my Dynamixel Projects GitHub repository, and more example code for additional Dynamixel to Arduino features is available on the Robotis GitHub. If you want to share your take on this project, or just feel like chatting with other Robotis users, come visit the Robotis community forum. This has been Jonathan with Robotis. I look forward to building more with you soon.